Are you trying to figure out what microphone to buy for your home studio or your live performance setup? First category is the large diaphragm condenser microphone. And this is kind of the workhorse of the recording studio. It can do all kinds of different things. This one is the Rode NT1. Uh, overall, these will give you a very nice, clean, sterile studio sound. And generally speaking, most of these require an external phantom power supply. This one has a cardioid or a heart-shaped polar pattern, meaning that it only picks up primarily sound that is in front of the capsule and slightly to the sides, but there are multi-capsule options out there that are switchable and they can do different polar patterns. This mic's a great option if you only have money for one microphone and you're specifically going to be doing home recording studio work. Another nice option for studio recording is a ribbon microphone like this MXL R144, and this is a figure eight polar pattern. Now the ribbon microphone is going to have a bit of a softer and warmer characteristic than a comparable large diaphragm condenser. This particular mic has a nice little bump around the upper mid-range, but then it's got a pretty steep roll off after about 10 kilohertz. Ribbon mics are great for recording soft and delicate blues or jazz vocals. They're also really great for recording acoustic instruments, guitars, woodwinds, um, trumpets, clarinets, things like that, any kind of uh, classical instruments. This particular mic does not require phantom power, but it does need a good high gain preamp with plenty of headroom. Next up is the small diaphragm condenser mic. These are great for recording instruments, particularly acoustic guitars, drums, percussion, woodwinds, anything like that. I picked up a pair of these so that I could use it in a stereo configuration and just hard pan each separate audio track to the left and right. Generally speaking, these also require a phantom power supply. If your main purpose is to record acoustic instruments or drums, you'll definitely want to take a look at getting a small diaphragm condenser mic. Next up is the stage vocal mics. So if you're a singer, you may have seen this little guy around. This is the Shure SM58. This is probably one of the most ubiquitous stage vocal mics in all of history. Now, you can get one of these for relatively cheap. If you have a little bit of extra money to spend and you want to really kick it up a notch, take a look at the Shure Beta 87A. This is a vastly superior mic. It does cost quite a bit more than the SM58, but it sounds way better. Uh, this is a standard cardioid pattern dynamic microphone. It does not require any phantom power. The Beta 87A is actually a super cardioid condenser mic, so it's got a little bit tighter polar pattern there in the front, and then it's got a little tiny bit of lead in at the rear of the mic. This thing works great in a studio as well. You can get fantastic clarity for uh, studio-grade recordings. This mic also works really well on a wide array of different instruments. And last but not least is USB microphones. This is the SSL Connex. And this is actually a quad capsule microphone and it is fully programmable. They've got a nice little app where you can go in and determine the individual levels for each one of these capsules. You can record each capsule as a separate audio track into your DAW. A multi-capsule option like this is great for recording room performances with groups of musicians. So think about your musical style and what instruments you're predominantly going to be recording. And I guarantee there's tons of good options out there without having to take a second mortgage on your house.